Okay, it's fan time. So do you see the fan that we got? It's actually rotating, right? It's rotating a little too far now, but it's a rotating fan with a tip head. So make sure that you're able to pull the head back or forward based on the height of the plants you have that you're trying to get to. Let me get past in here. So already the plants look better, right? They're already, after having a fan on them a half a day yesterday and today, they're getting a little sturdier looking. It's amazing how quickly that happens. So you want to try to get the fan going as soon as you can. Wait a day if you want, but then after that, go ahead and get started. Man, those ones on the ends look a lot better than they did. So that legginess goes away really quickly. Let me show you how these look when the fan reaches them. So the fan's off right now, off of them. Then it hit them, see that? Then it's off of them, so it gives it a break in between. It's kind of important to do that. You want to recreate like natural wind. Now it's on them. Okay, just by that little bit of breeze, strengthens them quite a bit. It helps harden them off. You know, when people talk about, you know, set your plants out for a couple hours a day and then more, and then this is part of hardening them off. If you can do this with the fan while they're inside as seedlings, it's easier to harden them off. The only thing that's left after you've done this is actually temperature changes which if you're doing it this way, you can also do that. You slowly start to lower the temps. You turn the lights off. You create a, a, an environment that is similar to the one that you're gonna have them in outside. Then we'll talk about that more later, but the fan thing is important if you can get it going pretty quickly. Now, it's all the way over here. See these? Now you'll see, it'll reach this far, but we are gonna have to move that fan around so that the stronger See, the stronger current gets to all of them. We want all of them to have super strong current and medium current and low current. We want them all to have that so that they can adapt the same and be strong. See these? Transplanted them, broke a few roots on that one, but it's gonna be okay. See those? Those were really droopy when I transplanted them the other day. Look at how beautiful they look. So it's gonna happen. See these leggy ones, right? Just wait. These leggy ones are already standing up more, but just wait. When this fan gets to them, they get a little bit bigger. They get super stiff. They're actually pretty strong, which again, I think is amazing. So see that one way back there? Even though it's way back there and the fan's way over there, it still gets a little bit of that breeze. See? Okay, and then move your fan around, of course, as time goes on. As they get stronger, get the fan closer. That helps even more. Okay, that's the fan lesson.